So basically, if I had to sum it up on what we're about, we're about talking about the things in the world of art that we're really excited about, that enrich our lives and make us happier people. And we wanna share that with you because like I said, we know there's a lot of crap out there. So we wanna make it easier for you to help you find awesome stuff. Hmm, uh, I don't know. I've got a lot of things to do and mm, I'm not so sure I should subscribe. What if you put out a couple of videos in a row that aren't worth it. Sure, I watched a couple videos I like here, but I'm not so sure your next one's gonna be any good. Hmm? You're in them. I don't know. <laughs> if you don't like it, maybe that's a sign you don't like yourself very much. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in them? Well, you didn't tell me anything about that. Jeez, I don't, I don't even know what to say to you anymore. Like, so back to the trailer. Look, here's the deal. We're never gonna waste two minutes of your time, okay? We're gonna waste 20 minutes of your time because I hear a lot of crap going around the internet. It's like, oh, you people on YouTube, they only have attention spans for two to three minutes. So that's why you see all these two to three minute fucking videos all the time. And I say, fuck that because you have a better attention span and I like to do really crazy analysis on stuff and really dig deep and fucking not do that surface bullshit that everybody else does. So you, you call yourself some kind of movie critic, huh? Well, why should I listen to your opinion? Well, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't say that I'm a movie critic. I would say I'm more of a fan of storytelling and things like that. I'm a fan of movies. I love them. I've watched them my whole life. I've been really excited about them. The reason we skip around a lot and talk about a lot of different subjects is because I don't ever want to get stuck on just doing one thing because if you do one thing all the time, then you end up hating it. Like, look at movie critics. They ought to watch all these movies all the time that they don't even want to watch, and they end up fucking hating movies, and I don't blame them. That's why a lot of their reviews are probably pretty negative. Just saying. But we like to keep it fresh here and mix it up and keep you on your toes so you don't know what to expect either. I'm not sure your tastes are in line with my tastes. Well, that's probably true because no one's tastes are exactly in line with somebody else's tastes. We've all got different tastes. That's okay. I'm just here to give you my personal opinion on it. And if you don't agree with it, that's fine, man. That's cool. Uh, uh, okay, well. Well, that's just, like, your opinion, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. I need to test you and find out if you like some of the things I like. All right, what do you, what do you, what? Ninja Turtles. Like it or not? I like Ninja Turtles. Okay, good. X-Men. X-Men's my favorite, actually. That's, like, my jammy jam. Ghostbusters. Loved it. One of my top faves when I was a little girl. Same with Beetlejuice. Uh, Warlock. I like Adam Warlock. I can get behind him. He's a really weird kind of Jesus-ish character, but I dig it in a lot of ways. Troll Hunter, the movie. Troll Hunter was really good. Netflix said that I would like it and they were right. Game of Thrones? All right, Game of Thrones is kind of a big deal for me. I don't know, I have a Game of Thrones tattoo and I love Game of Thrones and I've done like over an hour's worth of material on it already this year alone, and I will do more. Curb your enthusiasm? Hilarious, Larry David is fucking funny. Pretty, <laughs> pretty. What's pretty your good. favorite horror movie from 1985? I would say Fright Night, hands down. In fact, I would say that's probably my favorite movie of all time. I've watched it more than any other movie by far. Uh, Jeff Goldblum's best performance was in what movie? I would say The Fly. For sure, but he was super handsome in, uh, you know, Jurassic Park, and he was really good. I mean, I, Independence Day is terrible, but I like it. Okay, Finding Nemo has what percent on Rotten Tomatoes? A 99%. About What's stuff? your favorite Stephen King novel? That's a hard one. Um, it kind of varies a little bit. I haven't read every single novel because I don't want to like blow the load and like not have any more, but uh, I would say right now, It would be my favorite. But The Shining, Who's the best Japanese comic book artist? Katsuhiro Otomo. Totally. Hands down. He inspired Mobius. That's crazy. That's insane. What is a Mobius? Wait, you don't know what a Mobius is? Jeez, man. No, I, I'm testing you. I, oh. Maybe you don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh, well, yeah, I know what a Mobius is, okay? I'm not a noobler. All right, Mobius, uh, his name's Jean Girard, I believe. He's a French dude, and he was a badass artist, like crazy comic book artist. Amazing, like everybody loves him. Anyone who knows how to, anyone who likes illustrating and drawing, like knows about that guy, and is like, holy crap. Peter Weller is the star of what movie from the 80s? Robocop, but also Buckaroo Banzai, and he's also the star in Leviathan, which I think is an underrated movie, only because the fish monster looks terrible at the end of it. Uh, what's your favorite dinosaur? 
I would say I'm really into Stegosaurus, um, but I feel like I, maybe I would be a raptor. I would hope I'd be cool like a raptor. I've been told that I look like a Gallimimus. What if uh, I was gonna pick up my first comic book? What book do you recommend? So if you're gonna do DC stuff, I would say that you should do Scott Snyder's Batman thing. That's like really awesome since the new 52. His Batman's been fantastic, very solid. I would also say if you wanna do Marvel side, uh, all new X-Men has been fantastic. And also Wolverine and the X-Men is like a super fave of mine, so. What if I wanted to read that something that's not superheroes? Not superheroes. I would say Saga is a big hit right now. It's very hot with the kitties, and rightly so. It's extremely good. How often do you watch Star Trek? Um, I pop it in every now and again. Like I'll get in these moods where I'm just like it's next gen time, and I just need to like hang out with my little next gen friends for a while and like see what Riker's up to and like laugh at Data's silliness and <laughs> see Picard like handling shit. And you get a lot of good stories though. That's the thing. Like. Okay, so I used to work really late and then I would come home and then KTLA at one o'clock in the morning would be playing Next Gen and I would sit down and I'd be like, I'll just put this on, this is whatever. And then I would get sucked in every single night to the point where I had to buy all the DVDs. It's so good. I forgot how good it was and KTLA made me remember. It's awesome. Riker, you dog. If I were to really like reading Game of Thrones, what would you recommend that I read also that I might like? I would say that if you like Game of Thrones, you might also like Dune and you should totally give it a try. It's not as character based as Game of Thrones. The characters are more archetypal, uh, but I would say that there's still the political intrigue, the, like the great houses, like it's a full world where it's got all these different religions and all these like different things going on. It's, it's a very solid, well-built world universe. It's awesome. What's one of your favorite bad movies? Jaws for the Revenge. I like to watch it at Christmas time because it's set around Christmas time and it's really terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. I even read the book that it's supposed to be based off of and it explains like why the movie's so bad because they cut all this stuff out from the book and it's really weird. It's terrible. Don't read the book either though. This book goes into the voodoo subplot and also the drug runner subplot that was totally cut out from the movie and makes the movie make no sense anymore. So. It's so what you can find in this book. Don't read it. I read. I already read it for you. You don't need to read it. What do you like to do when you're not doing the Comic Girl Book 14 show? Oh my gosh, I love to draw. It's one of my favorite things to do. I like to sketch and draw characters and outfits and all sorts of fun stuff. Drawing outfits is probably my favorite. Oh, so you are a girl after all. You caught me. A girl? Who's your favorite comic book character? Hint, I got a hint right here for you. You mean you don't wear this outfit every day? Uh, no, only on special occasions. And I felt like the trailer was a special enough occasion to bust it out, because I like to wear it whenever I can. So Dazzler's my total super favorite Marvel character. I love her in a lot of ways. I talk about her all the time. In fact, I'm probably gonna do a whole episode on her. And she's super the best. And she has awesome light powers where she turns down into light. And she does it like this. Uh, I don't trust that girls know anything about comic books. If you don't want to subscribe, that's cool, man. You don't need to subscribe. I don't need you. I got my comics. I don't care. Like it or not. Okay, you've convinced me I'll subscribe, but only because I'm on the show. Whatever. 